describe a company that employs a lot of people. Part 3 Should big companies be punished more seriously if they break the law? I don't think so, personally speaking. No matter what companies, big or small, break the law, the punishment must be based on the related law, unless there are additional clauses. It is unfair to punish big companies more seriously. Everyone, including companies, is equal before the law. Should big companies donate more to charities? It is beneficial for them to do so. In this way, they can set a good example for other companies and have positive influences on society. Maybe they can get more profit afterward. However, it is not their responsibility to donate more to charities. They have the right to decide how much they want to donate. What are the good things about working for a big company? Well, the best thing is the precious experience. Big companies usually engage in various businesses. There are a lot of opportunities for employees to learn more and improve their skills. Besides, big companies are able to offer decent salaries and welfares. People who are ambitious and qualified can benefit a lot from working for a big company. What are the differences between big companies and small companies? There are several main differences. First of all, the number of employees is different. Therefore, communication skills are much more important when working in big companies. Secondly, big companies are financially stronger than small ones. Employees have more chances to get higher pay and better welfares compared with their peers in small companies. Of course, small companies have their own advantages. For example, employees have more flexibility and less stress, 